Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. If I sound a little bit fucked and you haven't seen any of my other videos, I pretty much am. I've got rotten cold, come on, hopefully not the coronavirus, that would suck. Uh, but fortunately, I don't think you can catch this in a YouTube video, so you should be good anyway. Um, so if you see me looking down, I'm looking at some notes that I've taken about what I wanted to talk about. That is purely because my mind is foggy as fuck, and unfortunately content waits for no man, and certainly no illness, so we have to go out and record them. If you do hear any crazy noise in the background, I've taken full advantage of my workplace being pretty much empty apart from us key workers who have to stay here and hold the fort um, so you may hear some banging and things in the background that is people walking around although there's not too many so hopefully there won't be too much of that going on um, but anyway enough excuses about how I'm going to waffle at you for the next few minutes and hopefully you stick around to uh, enjoy it or something uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about Sky Striker and if you haven't seen any of these other videos the, the idea is, is that I wanted to discuss some fleeting thoughts that I have and I've sort of noted down and wanted to talk about about Master All 5 and how it's going to affect the meta game and how it's going to shake things up now, one thing that's important to note is, of course, that there is currently no organized place. If you've seen this down the line in the future and you didn't know about the great fucking tragedy of 2020, uh, we all got some really bad cold. Uh, it's, let's be honest, it's pretty serious if we're going to be real about things. Um, but it's also meant that organized play has been closed down. So an awful lot of what we're doing at the moment is theoretical. We don't know when Locals is going to be back. We also know that, you know, organized play at the very least is a few weeks away but it's looking more likely to be a few months. There's also discrepancies in product at the moment, and we'll get all of this shit out of the way now for you. You can just go ahead and skip ahead a minute or so if you don't want to listen to it. But there's likely to be discrepancies between the products we're going to see in the US and what we're going to see in Europe because they can't get the product out of Belgium due to the lockdown. So uh, we may see a weird kind of convoluted format developed for a few weeks, although I think it's likely that this is going to be a non-format. So of course, all of what we're discussing is pretty much for online testing and play only realistically um but anyway let's go back to the, the the main topic of the discussion so sky striker we have seen them hit many many times on the list and people persevere and try to play the deck into the ground it's got itself a weird it's like a modern day cult deck right it's going to see play for pretty much forever as long as it stays available for people to play it's probably one of the most successful decks we have seen in years um, it's mopped up so many results, it's absolutely unreal. And I think that for that reason, people are going to continue to try and take advantage of the deck. We have seen Widow Anchor weirdly go back to two, uh, which is not something I expected to see. Although I guess that they probably wanted to push the product for the fact that we've had, uh, is it Zeke or Zeke? I don't know how you pronounce it. And it's been released and they probably want to push Strikers forward a little bit as kind of a off the cuff choice of deck. And that is what we're certainly seeing. Representation isn't huge, but the people who are playing it are usually people that have played it from its inception right up until now, and they know the deck inside out. And for that reason, we'll probably actually still see a few like regional tops, or maybe it might squeeze in at the top end uh, in some bigger events, if those bigger events happen any time this year. Uh, debatable whether that will happen. Now, there is a few things to talk about here. So Master All 5 doesn't really change much about how the deck plays. Uh, certainly not because, you know, it runs entirely in link zones. Um, so not much else to say in that respect. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily benefit from it. However, it is still being messed with. And for that reason alone, we will probably still see it creep in. The engine is still incredibly strong as a whole. The fact that they've got an extra main deck monster in rows to play now definitely adds something uh, to the way the deck can play. The links have all been pretty much released off again. Uh, so we can see all of that being flowed through. And uh, one little small note, and not something that's necessarily being discussed at the moment or sort of on a minor level is the fact that pot of avarice is at three now the whether this interacts with the deck or not pretty well i'm sure some better players out there than i can tell you whether this will work or not but the fact that it's at three means that they've effectively got pot of greed in the deck again which is what they had with engage of course being able to choose one and then draw one was slightly nicer than just draw two but the fact that they can just keep recycling those links, which is what they were doing before, and keep generating advantage, which is what they can still do now with Pot of Avarice being able to be played in the deck, could actually spell some interesting 
uh, builds that we might see out there. People actually taking advantage of the fact that Pot of Avarice is at three and using that in Sky Striker builds. Maybe it's not such a good idea. Maybe you think I'm talking shit. Who knows? But I don't see why people wouldn't be try willing to try that out at the very least. I mean, they've got nothing to lose at this stage. So who knows? Um, I think that we'll probably see it as a sort of tier two representation. I do think it's still too good to be a rogue pick. Um, but the, the dedicated players of the deck, I can guarantee you will still get their weird tops and invites with this deck. Don't be surprised at all. Uh, thank you very much for checking in, guys. Uh, hopefully this has provided some entertainment or some food for thought for you at least even though we may not necessarily have a format for another couple of months realistically. Um, but hopefully this will give you some ideas of things that you can try out. Maybe you're already testing this out and you've got some spice already that you want to share in the community. You can definitely drop it down in the comments. If there's anything you think that I've said that's an absolute load of baloney, definitely drop that down in the comments as well. If there's anything you'd like to discuss, drop it in there too. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.